What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Gamer Dude here, welcoming you to another episode of Danganronpa of V3, Killing Harmony. In the last episode, we got through a good amount of the trial, but there was a lot for you guys to witness and see. So, this time, today, we're getting through part of the second half of the trial. I actually won't be able to finish this trial in time before my get-together, which is insane for me to think about, because, you know, that first part was a two-hour portion, so I failed miserably on a couple of occasions, and you guys got to see it throughout the last couple of episodes, but... Um, chapter 3, well, you saw it 15, because I'll keep, I don't know why I would keep the, the one from 625, but it's fine. It's chill. It's whatever. God, three of them being dead. Looks like we've researched the intermission set, or we've reached the intermission segment, which means it's time for our Guess the Victim Quiz! <laughs> victim Quiz, not the Culprit Quiz! Only the victims are the people who are still watching this drawn out boring crap. Why are you such a doubter all of a sudden? It's okay. I am sure everyone is happy. How do you know? They could be skipping this entire conversation for all that you know. I can't take it. I can't take it anymore. The real victor here is me. Oh wait, that was Monotaro. Why are you getting upset? If anything, I'm the real victim. I gotta put up with all this nonsense all the time. That's the right answer, Mononon! <laughs> Why? He hasn't said anything! Hey, uh... Exactly! Because there are no victims! Yep! Even if you're killed in this killing game, you're a winner! Because then everyone mourns you and you get tons of post-humorous popularity! Daddy! Daddy, you don't need to reveal these kind of behind-the-scenes details! All right. Dying makes you more popular. Then we're gonna die soon, too? Uh, yeah, you probably are Monotaro. I actually expect Monotaro to be the Monica that dies next. We'll find out, though. Could be wrong. Ooh, this is my impression of a spooky, scary ghost. Ah! I'm fine with real ghosts, but impressions of them are too scary. Logic does not compute. Did you hear something? No, I didn't hear anything. Right now, you're on the threshold of a major. You know what else is scary? Sweet buns. Yep, tasty, tasty what? sweet buns. <laughs> what makes them scary, Monotaro? So round, so sweet, so delicious. What? That doesn't sound scary at all. Two. I'm scared too. Scared of losing my friends. Uh, did you hear something? No, I didn't hear anything. Right now, you're on the threshold of a major adventure. Answer us, Himiko. You chose the middle room to lure us into your trap, did you not? Then you used that trap to kill Tenko, yes? Well, Donkey Lips, did you kill that twat? I don't believe that she would have, but... Wait, must be some mistake. No way Himiko is culprit. Then she needs to defend herself. Otherwise, this debate is deadlocked. I don't care if you gotta use magic to do it, but say something already. Are you even listening? No, I'm not listening. What? I, I don't care anymore. I'm too tired. Angie died. Tanko died. Why did I have to survive? And now, they're all saying I killed them? I just don't care anymore. Himiko. Do whatever. If you want to vote for me, then just... Go ahead. Uh, the game gets really blah if the suspect isn't into it. That's not the problem. Damn it. Don't tell me you've given up. Himiko, don't give up. Don't you understand? My life is riding on the outcome of this trial. Just shut up. I told you. I'm too tired. It's all just... 
a big pain. I can't put up with it anymore. What are you talking about? If you give up here... You needn't worry. Himiko was the one who chose that room. Therefore, she is unmistakably the culprit. Impossible! Uh, Himiko would never kill Tanko! Himiko, not that kind of person! Gonta can tell by Himiko's face! Himiko's a little... slow, so I don't think she's capable of handling a complicated crime. Oh, <laughs> Maki! I also think Himiko's not the culprit. Um, somehow. Either way, we gotta look for more possibilities. <laughs> that does seem like rather a pointless quest. No, it's not. We gotta be strong. Gotta keep thinking. Then we might find new truth. So no give up, Himiko! Himiko, I know how you feel. I felt the same way after Kaede died. But we can't give up. We survived. We can't give up for the sake of everyone who died. Performing the seance in that room. Was Himiko's decision, was it not? What if someone steered her into picking that room? Of the three empty rooms, why did you select the middle one? Because you laid your trap there. Was trap only in that room? Other rooms may be trapped too. Mm. I agree. There we go. It's just like Gonta said. Each room was the same. They were all trapped. What? Is that true? Kokichi will tell you. Yes, he should. He better. I was way too careless. Uh, wait, what are you talking about? Uh, I guess there was no cross piece supporting this floorboard, so I... Kinda step through. <laughs> what bad luck! Uh... While you were in the room next to the crime scene, you found a loose floorboard, right? Well, I didn't find it so much as I stepped through it and tripped. What? Hold on! There was also a loose floorboard in the next room? So the culprit prepared a trap in all three empty rooms, not just the middle one. Which leads me to believe it would be Keo. If the culprits had traps in all the rooms, then they wouldn't need to select a room themselves. Yeah, and Ke that's and that's why Keo had uh, Himiko select the room. So the real trap was for someone else to pick a room and take the blame. I see. We were caught in the culprit's trap all along. Yes. You. But now there's no reason to suspect Himiko, right? Himiko, do you remember what Tanko told you? Keep your chin up and live life facing forward. Survive with me and everyone else. Please. Live life facing forward. She said that to you, right? If you give up on living, you'd be betraying her memory. We're all trying to keep our promises to the dead. Wow. The way they cinematically did that. This trial, it's not just for our lives. It's for everyone who's died as well. That's why we can't give up. This is our responsibility. We live on. Right. Yeah, that's right. If I gave up here, I wouldn't be able to face Angie or Tanko. That's right. So let's do our best. <sighs> All right. I'm not going to say it's a pain anymore. I won't give up. I'll fight alongside everyone and survive. I am A-OK -okay with this Himiko character arc. 
Do not say everyone. After all, the blackened is still among us. Keep us right. Peace. There you go. Killing the mood like usual. He's not wrong though. But damn, well said, Shuichi. That's what I'd expect for my soul, bro. You can add mate to that. I don't care. Well, anyway, do you think the blackened this time has some sort of superpower? What are you talking about? Well, as a self-proclaimed expert of stepping through floorboards, <laughs> isn't it weird that no one stepped through that floorboard before the culprit used it? Ah, that is a good point. It must have been barrier magic. Well, that's one possibility, but I think it might have been something else. Why no one stepped on the floorboard until it was used for the murder? Ah, that's it. That must be the reason. Um. This is it. It's because of the magic circle at the scene of the crime. Yeah, because we were told not to step on it. Which again, further points to Keo. Also, it's dark in here, so be sure to watch your step. If the magic circle is broken, not only will the seance fail, but it may also unleash a curse. Before we began the seance, we were warned not to step on the circle. If Keo is if if it is Keo, what I need is the picture that because um at the beginning of an investigation, I go and, like, pick who I think the killer is. And Keo was on my top suspect list. So if it is Keo, and then, mind you, this was, like, a while, way, while, 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 while ago. So <laughs> the fact that this is going to be the second time that I have it is crazy. If it is Keo. The question was within the circle. That's why no one stepped on it. So the magic circle's purpose was to keep us away from the whole trick. Yeah. That was part of the culprit's plans too? Yep. That's right. If that's the case, then the culprit, no doubt in my mind, the only one who could have killed Tenko, the only one that had the opportunity and the motive, was in fact, best friend. Best friend! Bestie, no! It has to be I, you. Why, bestie? Uh, I, I had a feeling. Was it you? I had a feeling it was bestie from, like, way before. Which is also why, <laughs> for, for those of you that don't know, that's why there's a big difference between the dates of uh, when I did both of the trials. Because I was like, I can't lose bestie. Uh, but, like, it's Danganronpa. You're going to lose the characters you like. You got to know that going into Danganronpa, but losing Bestie is like, that, it, Bestie almost hurts more than losing Kaido. I hate to say it, but if losing Bestie hurts more than losing Boyfriend, because, like, you, without Bestie, who the heck do I confide in about BF? Like, <laughs> that's what, I think Monkey's gonna have to take that place, but still. Hmm. Whatever are you talking about? I'm talking about Tenko's murder. Kyo? Why do you suspect me? Because you were the one who drew the magic circle. The circle kept us from discovering the seesaw trick. But that's not all it was for. In order to make the murder succeed, Variables like Tenko's position and the placement of the cage needed to be defined. And that's exactly what Kyo did. And those variables were defined by using the magic circle. In short, the circle itself was the most important tool in this murder. Knowing that, the person who drew the magic circle has to be the culprit. Yup. Well, Kyo. Already. Did 
you do it? <laughs> and insanity. <laughs> oh no. What is so funny? Oh no. I was just thinking. So this is how each blackened must have felt. What an intriguing experience. There's the admission. What? An intriguing uh, experience? Oh, bestie, no. But if I am the culprit, as you claim, then I stomped on the floorboard, yes? So, do tell. How could I have stomped on the floorboard during that darkened seance? I see. That is problem. Unless that is made clear, you cannot be certain I am the culprit. But we kind of can be. How can you be so calm when you're backed into a corner like this? Eh, uh, cause this is Kiel. I will explain that in due time. Please answer my question first. The culprit stepped on the exact floorboard, even in the darkness. But how? How did they move around in total darkness? The room that dark... It's hard to imagine the culprit found the right board. Although, even after I put out the candle, I could move along the wall with my hand. Wait a minute. Maybe... Did you figure it out? That's it. The culprit didn't even have to see it at all. They used... That's it! Yeah, they could feel around the wall to know exactly where it was. The culprit used touch. They didn't see. They felt. That way they could get around in the dark. Like how I got to the candle. Wasn't Seesaw in middle of room? Gonta doesn't think it was near wall. So they probably used something besides the wall to move then, right? Hmm? Were there any other markers within reach? Of course the answer to that is there was nothing of the sort. No, I'm sure there was something. A landmark they could have used to determine where the floorboard was. Uh, it must be at the scene. I know it. Oh my god, another hangman's gambit. Shit. I was not ready for hangman's gambit. Ah. Uh No idea. Mark. Now magic circle. Oh my god, I'm dumb. Hold on. Yeah, they use the magic circle to guide themselves. And Keo's the only one that knew or had it ma memorized. Sir CLE. C L. Yeah, he's the only one that had the thing memorized. So he knew exactly how to go. That's it! The magic circle! They used the magic circle! Remember? The magic circle was drawn with salt. The culprit used the salt's texture to feel their way through the dark. I see. So Keo traced the magic circle with his hands to get to the loose floorboard. Oh, I see. You drew the magic circle with salt to use it as a guide. An interesting thought. It is unfortunate that it is so wrong. But it was literally like... Yeah. What? Recall the document. What did the magic circle look like? Based on the document, the magic circle wouldn't reach the corners of the room. So what? When the room was darkened, each of us was in a corner of the room, yes? The magic circle didn't reach us, so I could not have followed it, yes? That's not cur- no. But you're talking about the magic circle in the document. Exactly. That doesn't mean the circle you drew was the same. Exactly. No, I most definitely drew it exactly the same. I have it perfectly memorized. Um, so which is it? Is there any way to check? Not anymore. The magic circle is a complete mess from being trampled on. 
I see another piece of the puzzle. Drawing the circle with salt, but guaranteed it would be temporary. The investigation itself would have gotten rid of the evidence. Clever. Everyone, may I have your attention, please? Hmm, what a pain. We don't have any way to check it now. Excuse yeah, we do. Excuse me, everyone. May I have your attention, please? Well, I guess there's no point in discussing the magic circle anymore. Oh my god, listen to Kibo. Hey, may I have your attention? Oh, I said cut that out. It's too bright. I apologize. I just wanted everyone to listen to me. About what? I had Mew add another function to my body, in addition to the flashlight. What the? No way! Did you really? Stop! You can't! I didn't install it for that purp- Please, let me use it. With it, I might be able to save everyone. What? Alright, so, what is this function? It's an image recording function. Oh no! Image recording? Specifically, this function allows me to dispense a printout of my own memory. I'll give it a try. Ready? From your mouth? <laughs> I've also used magic like that before. This printout is my memory of being kicked out of the seance. Please confirm that the floor of the empty room is clearly visible. Go on, take the picture and see for yourself. Uh, okay, got it. I reluctantly took the piece of paper out of Kiba's mouth. Right, and that's what I'm like, what I was thinking is the lines at each corner. So if this is the magic circle used for the seance. Well, Shuichi, do you notice anything? Notice anything? There! This helped a lot, Kibo. Without you, I never would have seen through Kyo's lie. My lie? You just said that you drew the magic circle exactly as it appears in the document. But that's a lie, isn't it? The magic circle at the scene had lines that stretched to the room's corners. Which means that you would be able to find the floorboard from anywhere in the room. Yup. Because he knows the signs in the middle. From the document after all. Yeah, he knows the signs in the middle so he can feel for whatever signs. Whatever sign he needed to look for. No matter where. Yeah. All because Himiko noticed. And because of Kibo too. Hey, where's my things? I'm the one who installed that function into Kibo. Hey, yeah. What was it you were saying about its purpose? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, to be honest... The purpose of that image recording function is to monitor my health. Specifically, I make Kibo use that function every day to... Uh, analyze my turns! <laughs> what the hell, Mew? Your what? Why? Sh shit is a great indicator of intestinal health and gut bacteria quality! Plus, taking a satisfying shit does wonders for a woman's natural beauty, so... <laughs> oh my god, Mew. See? You're all grossed out! This is why I didn't want to tell you about my plan! Quit talking about your poop. No one cares. Facts. Good job, Himiko. Yeah. You killed Tanko, didn't you? Just give up and admit it already. So, Kyo. If you have any objections, you can- Your deductions are fiction. This is what I expected to have to argue with Kyo here. Well, since you've given me the option, I will most certainly object. Yeah, I was gonna say. To be honest, it's unimportant. But it may be an amusing diversion. Unimportant? Now I shall bear witness to your abilities, Shuichi. Do entertain me. If 
you're going to claim I am the culprit, then what of the murder weapon? It was set up in the cage. The only people capable of that are Kokichi and Shuichi who carried the cage. So suspicion should fall on them. Kyo's attitude is disconcerting. But first, I need to counter his argument. If you are going to claim I am the culprit, then what of the murder weapon? It was set up in the cage. The only people capable of that are Kokichi and Shuichi who carried the cage. So suspicion should fall on them. True, we could have placed the sickle there, but we could not have removed it later. Because we weren't the ones who lifted the cage. That was Himiko. The only person who could have collected the sickle is Himiko. But the only people who could have placed the sickle are Kokichi. But in regards to that dilemma, I did not carry the cage, nor did I lift it. I had no opportunity to touch the sickle. So simply put, I am not the killer. I'm sure Kyo is the culprit. He has a way of getting to the murder weapon and I can prove it. The only it. person who could have collected the sickle is Himiko. But the only people who could have placed the sickle are Kokichi and Shuichi. But in regards to that dilemma... But he was the I only one that... Carry the cage, nor he was I alone in the I white no sheet. opportunity to touch the sickle. I'll cut through your words. The only person who could have set up the sickle and retrieved it afterward is Kyo. Yep. That was done by covering the cage with a white cloth. You could have secretly placed the sickle when you draped the cloth. and retrieved it afterward when you removed the cloth. Then, while everyone was distracted, you discreetly dropped the sickle under the floor. Wonderful! That's exactly correct. What? Is he... <laughs> are we just gonna... Okay. It's correct? Then why don't you give up already? <laughs> the trick I put so much work into is just wasted effort. Alas. So, it was you? You killed Tanko? Let me guess. You'll never forgive me. Himiko, you must hate me so very much. Maybe you'd feel better if I was executed by Monokuma. But unfortunately for you, that won't happen. Because he didn't kill Angie. Because if you vote for me, every spotless, including myself, will die. What you talking about, Keo? Because he's gonna argue he didn't kill Angie. <laughs> you still don't understand? I killed Tenko. That is the truth. But it is meaningless in this class trial. Meaningless? You mean Monokuma's extra rule, right? Ah, uh, that's right. What happens to your votes if there are two black in the candidates? Well, I will answer that. It's first come, first served. You see, I killed Tenko, but not Angie. For us, Tenko's death is nothing but a trivial issue. Because the blackened in this trial is the culprit who killed Angie. A uh, trivial issue? No, that's gotta be a lie. You probably killed Angie, too. That is simply not possible. Recall that I was unable to enter Angie's lab. Oh, only student council members and Kokichi could enter research lab. Wait a minute, so... How could I have possibly killed Angie when I couldn't even enter her lab? Is Kyo actually about to get the freest kill of existence? We can figure that out. No one else could have done it besides you. I don't know. I don't. If you're the one who killed Tanko, you gotta be the one who killed Angie. 
That's not necessarily true, but in most Danganronpa logic, it is, so... I understand how you feel, Himiko, but maybe we can discuss this rationally and calmly. There is a non-zero possibility that Kyo is telling the truth. So you understand how she feels. I see. Wait, robots can understand human feelings? Uh, of course I understand. I work really hard to understand. Hey, why are you getting all worked up, Kibo? Chill, dude. That's enough! It's voting time! I'm gonna vote for him! No, no, no! <laughs> voting for me will only help the one who murdered Angie. Isn't Kyo culprit? Of course I'm not. This case was an error on my part. Monokuma added that rule after both bodies were found, yes? How was I to know that the trial would only be for Angie's killer? Yeah. Had I known, I certainly wouldn't have killed Tenko. You're lying! You killed Tenko and Angie! Now hold on. Jumping to conclusions here is dangerous. It is, and I think Keo is rational, a rational enough human being also to know that killing two people is usually not a good idea because it leaves more room for error. Mm-hmm. We should talk it out more. This case might have juicy plot twists waiting to happen. Nuts to that. Any way you look at this case, Keo is obviously the culprit. Ah, uh, no. There's sort of no other way to look at it. Uh, uh. No, it's too dangerous to vote before we arrive at a logical decision. I'm with I'm with the people that are like, hold back, hold back. What? Matakuma? This argument is getting intense. At times like this. The Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own oh, here it is. Okay. trial round. Split decision. That's right. We haven't had that yet. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> oh, okay. Why were you waiting for it? Kyo confessed to killing Angie, but insists he did not kill An or Tenko, but insists he did not kill Angie. We will not forgive Kyo for what he did, but we cannot, in fact, vote until we know the facts. I have to pin down the evidence and convince everyone. So, are we on the side of Kyo? Did it probably? Or are we are we protecting or are we not protecting Kyo? That is that is the big marquee factor in the case right here. Are we on the side of Kyo or are we not on the side of Kyo? If we are on the side that Kyo did it, then Kyo is the culprit for both, and then we're back to normal Danganronpa logic. If we are on the side of he did not do it, then Danganronpa is about to throw me for a loop. We're on team. Don't vote. Uh oh. Uh oh! Shit's gonna go down! And Angie. He forced his way into Angie's research lab and killed her! Kyo! Anyone could have entered my lab. The katana was found oh. in Kyo! Anyone could have entered my lab. So Kyo did kill Tanko, but he not blackened? Kyo! Not possible. That rule was added after both murders. Oh, he has two different things? Oh. Oh, fuck. We died. Uh, shit. I didn't even think about that. We, we have so little people now that people are going to constitute for multiple situations here. Like, people are going to have to counter, du double counter, which is interesting. Okay. It's going to be a very interesting thing. was found in Kyo's lab. So Kyo did kill Tanko, but he not blackened? I got this. Not yet. There's still another mystery to solve. He was planning to use the new rule to protect himself all along. We solved the mystery of Tanko's death. Can't we just vote now? Okay. I got this. Not yet. There's still another mystery to solve. Kyo killed Tanko and Angie. Kyo killed Tanko and Angie. I got this. But he couldn't get into Angie's research lab. He forced his way into Angie's I got this, but he couldn't get into Angie's research lab. The katana was found in Kyo's lab. Kyo, anyone could have entered my lab. So Kyo did kill Tanko, but he not black Kokichi. Perhaps there's a second black and we need to find. He was planning to use the new rule to protect himself. Kyo, not possible. That rule was added after both murders. We solved the mystery of Tanko. I got this, not yet. There's still another mystery to solve. Kyo killed Tanko and... 
Nekio killed Tenko and Angie. Kibo, we don't know for certain Nekio killed Angie. He forced his way into Angie's We got this, but he couldn't get into Angie's research lab. The katana was found in Kikio. Anyone could have entered my lab. So Kyo did kill Tenko, but he did not kill Kichi. Perhaps there's a second black and we need to find. He's planning to use Kyo. Not possible. That rule was added after both murders. He's not the this. Not yet. There's still another mystery to solve. Is Kyo gonna stay? There's. Is Kyo actually gonna stay alive? Uh. What? 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 I was hitting the wrong button. Oh. I was hitting A. <laughs> you failed. You hit the wrong button. Oops. It's almost like wait for the button. It would be a mistake to vote before we've completely solved Angie's murder. And there's still the mystery of Tanko's murder. Yeah, the floorboard incident. Mystery? What kind of mystery? Well, Keo's confession derailed our conversation a bit. But we still have to go over one of the clues found at Tanko's crime scene. I believe it might even have something to do with Angie's murder. Yes, the outlying piece of evidence at Tenko's murder scene. The dried blood. This is it! The blood stain found under the floor. Maki and I found it during the investigation. It was beneath the floorboard that the culprit stomped on. Is that... Tenko's blood? That blood stain was too far from Tenko's corpse to have been hers. Also, the blood stain was already dry when we found it. But the blood from Tenko's body hadn't even begun to dry yet. Well, that's weird. Why was that blood stain the only dry one? The blood stain under the floorboard was dry because. It happened before the seance. That's it! The blood stain wasn't from Tanko's murder. It was there before we started the seance. Before the seance? That should make it clear whose blood it was. Angie's. That's it! That blood stain wasn't Tanko's. It was Angie's. Why was blood from Angie at the scene of Tenko's murder? Yeah, wasn't Angie killed in her research lab? No. Just because we found her body there doesn't mean she was killed there. Ah, I guess that's possible. If Angie wasn't killed in her lab, then that opens up a lot more possibilities. We assumed that only council members could have killed Angie since her body was in her lab. But if she died somewhere else, then we can't suspect just the council members anymore. So the culprit didn't enter her lab, but waited for her to come out of it? I'm not sure if the culprit waited for her, but they probably killed her when she came out. Well, I thought that was more likely from the start. So I went to places Angie might have gone and checked all three empty rooms. Places she might have gone? Why did you check the empty rooms then? Hmm? The empty rooms were the only places I could think of that Angie would go. Did Angie have business in rooms? <laughs> it seems Kokichi's up to his usual misleading nonsense again. <laughs> I do lie a lot, and I could be lying right now too. But I'm pretty sure someone's panicking right now because of my lie. Angie left her lab on her own and headed to the room where she was killed. Kokichi's statement a true or... The art research lab is not where Angie was killed. She was killed in the empty room instead. She left her lab on her own? But why would she go into an empty room? There shouldn't have been anything in there. Except for candles. That's it! She wanted a candle! To keep herself awake at night. She wanted she to burn it. Hot wax 
marks on her body. The burn of the Nomicon. That sounds like something only you would do, Mew. What did Kokichi see? Something Angie did. There has to be a clue there. The art research lab is not where Angie was killed. She was killed in the empty room instead. She left her lab on her own? But why would she go into an empty room? There shouldn't have been anything in there. Except for candles. That's it! She wanted a candle! I agree! That's it! Angie went to that room to get a candle. Yeah, for kinky wax play! Uh, no. Angie was gonna use it for the ritual. According to the Necronomicon, to resurrect the dead. Preparing the FSG, burn the Necronomicon to ashes. Use caution and be mindful of carbon monoxide poisoning. Then, did she seek out a candle so she could burn the book? Yep. That's right. There's nothing to start a fire with in Angie's lab. So she went to go get a candle from one of the empty rooms. And that's when the culprit attacked her. That's why there was dried blood under floor. Which means Angie was attacked in the same room the seance was held. Bravo, Himiko. Well done for choosing that room for the seance. If we hadn't done the seance in that room, then Tenko's murder would have been in another room. If that happened, no one would have discovered Angie's blood stain under the floorboards. That's right. Shuichi and I only checked under the floorboards where Tenko died. Yep, it's all thanks to Himiko for choosing the same room as Angie. This must be a two as will. Or maybe the power of magic. <laughs> oh my god. It's neither. I just picked one. Hold on. You're all acting as though you've proven that is fact already. You claim Angie was murdered in the empty room, and then moved to the lab? Then how do you explain the large amount of blood in the lab? It may be possible to carry a body, but blood cannot be moved. The extra wound. I think she was still alive after the attack in the empty room. Because the, the, f here's my thing. The stepping on the floorboard knocked her head unconscious, but she was still alive. The katana then went through her neck, and that's what killed her. Hmm. She was killed after she was carried to her lab. That means the culprit attacked her twice, and I have evidence of that. Monica, I'm a file three. What? Or not, I guess. Oh no! I guess, is it the katana then? Blood on the katana, so Angie was killed in the lab. Damn it! What? Okay, wait. I was so confident I'm on with file three. This is it! Ow! Literally, me. Explain. This is what happened. The back of her neck from the katana. Right. <laughs> Duh. L this happened. Therefore, this doesn't go click the evidence for that. But she also showed signs of blunt force trauma, and I think I know why. After Angie was knocked unconscious in the empty room, she was killed in her lab. I see. So that puddle of blood is from the killing blow. Ha! It's all clear now. Angie was attacked in the empty room, carried to her lab. And it was there that the culprit finished her off! All clear. This is all clear. <laughs> what are you all talking about? All clear? What? Is all clear. We're fine. I, what is? What are you 
all clear? There we go. What are you all... You. You what? What? What are... I will not fear. I Whoa. will not back down. Whoa. Sweet Correggio, calm yourself. Whoa. We're getting we're, we're getting the breakdown. What? Their words are all hollow. There is no meaning to any of them. What? You must teach these ignorant children a lesson. Y yes, you're right. Okay, I'll teach them. What the hell are you mumbling about? You're giving me the goddamn willies! <laughs> Not yet. Nothing is clear at all. It's full of doubts! Of mysteries! Of a dense, impenetrable fog! Nothing is clear at all! This is the, um, yeah, oh! Rebuttal showdown, again! Oh, shit, okay. Angie was attacked in the empty room first. And then carried into the research lab? Impossible! Impossible! That's nothing but a delusion! You would tend to poison our minds with your delusions? Five hits on that? Jesus! It's no delusion. Angie's two external wounds tell the story. After she was struck in the empty room, she was carried to the art research lab and then killed. You say the culprit carried Angie's body? And not a single drop of blood fell? The hallway and empty room had no blood stains. Even if you wiped them down late, there'd still be traces of evidence left behind. But there was no evidence anywhere, was there, Shuichi? Yes, there is. Wrong buttons. You say the culprit carried Angie's body? And not a single drop of blood fell? The hallway and empty room had no blood stains. Even if you wiped them down later, there'd still be traces of evidence left behind. But there was no evidence anywhere, was there, Shuichi? Yes, uh, there is. Cut your words. <laughs> I forget, you can actually hit up and down to change the blades in this game. There was evidence left at the scene. The bloody tape under Angie's body. What? It was wrapped around her head to stop the bleeding while she was being carried. Bloody tape? Gonta didn't notice at all. It was under the body. It's most likely evidence the culprit should have gotten rid of. But since it was hidden, the culprit didn't notice and failed to dispose of it. It must have fallen as the fatal blow was dealt and ended up under her body. It must have been Atua who did that for us. <laughs> what? Atua? How long are you going to keep that up? Now we know most of the mystery behind Angie's murder. I'm convinced there's only one person who could have killed Angie. Bestie! Bye-bye, bestie! Unfortunately, again, for the it's second you, fucking you. trial in a row, you the person Angie. who has the most fucking truth, like, not truth, uh... Star points or whatever is the one that's dying, but bye bye, bestie. What the fuck? So it's true. Well, that was obvious. Such a boring, obvious answer. You killed both of them. Why? Why did you kill them? In terms of pure logic, only one victim was necessary to win. Why? Why you kill them both? I think one of the murders was an accident. An accident? That's right. It wasn't part of the plan. Huh? Which one? The murder that's an accident. Angie? That's it. Angie's murder was an accident. What? Tenko wasn't accident? That's right. Kiel originally planned to kill someone with a seesaw trick. But while he was making preparations in the empty room, Angie walked in. So he decided to kill her 
in order to keep her from talking. She just happened to walk in on the culprit setting up and was killed. Then we should have just stopped there. Once he killed Angie, there was no reason for him to kill Tinko. That's, I mean, I, I get Himiko here. He only needed to kill one for this game. Killing two is pointless. If you get bonus points for killing more, then sure. Otherwise, it leaves more clues behind. Why, Kyo? Why you kill two of our friends? What is... What on earth are you talking about? No. I'm not the culprit. So, why is everyone looking at me like I am? Why? Why are they? Why is... Calm yourself, Kurekio. This is what this breakdown is insane. This breakdown is wild. You mustn't raise your voice. You mustn't stutter. You mustn't lose composure. You mustn't become flustered. You mustn't waver. Look at their horrid faces. This sorry lot is not worth agonizing over. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. You're right. There he goes again. What the hell's wrong with him? It almost seems like he's talking with someone. Yeah. Someone? He's just talking to himself. And why the hell is he wearing lipstick? I'm assuming because it's like a motherly figure or something. <laughs> no matter how loudly you protest, this is a trivial matter. I will never acknowledge your allegations. Not a single one of them. For you see, there is no evidence that I killed Angie. <laughs> no, I will not acknowledge it. I will only acknowledge facts, true events. I won't acknowledge fiction, mystery. The Amaranth. I acknowledge your deductions or guesses. Well said. Good job, Correggio. Yes, thanks. Ah, creeps me the fuck out! <laughs> oh, Mew. No evidence? There's no evidence he killed You're Angie? Wrong. There is evidence. What? You do realize bluffs like that won't work, yes? The weapon that was used to knock Angie unconscious in the empty room. That weapon tells us the whole story, Keo. <laughs> <laughs> That's not possible. I think you may have misunderstood. Apologize. Come on, apologize. 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 <laughs> oh my god. Come on. Apologize. 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 <laughs> I, I think this is the first true breakdown that we're getting in V3, and I'm here for this. Seriously. What the hell's happening? Because Karimi's breakdown was not, like, as much as this. This is the first real breakdown, and I'm here for it. What is happening to Keo? But I know the weapon he used. A Angie, I have to prove it. Or, uh, yeah, there's argument Amaran. Ooh! I have nothing to admit. You are simply wrong. Yes, I'm not the culprit. So I have nothing to confess. Oh, shit. I have nothing to admit. You are simply wrong. Yes, I'm not the culprit. So I have nothing to confess. I have nothing to admit. You are simply wrong. I gotta do like the foot taps. Yeah. Shit. I'm not the culprit. Four, five, six, so seven, eight. Confess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay, we're going faster. Why must you force your delusions on us? One, two, three, four. That's Six, seven, eight, one, two, three. Well, oh, we're about faster, okay? To continue this debate is meaningless. Why must you force your delusions on us? Your logic. That's merely a delusion. Well said, Correctio. To continue one, two, this debate three, is meaningless. Four, five, six, seven, Why must you force your delusions four, on us? Five, six, seven, eight. I told you I am not the culprit. One, two, three, so four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Correctio speaks the truth. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What the fuck was that? What the fuck? Apologize. 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 Apologize.
What the hell is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What the hell is that? Seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't. Apologize. 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 The fact that I can't see it is crazy. Why are you looking at me like that? What? You're all wrong. Not me. Colecchio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. That's insane. Okay. You have no proof that Correggio is the killer. Uh, remove floorboard. It ends here. I was too busy to do anything. Angie with the same floorboard used in the seesaw trick. <laughs> I see. And how do you know the floorboard was the murder weapon? There was a small patch of dried blood on the underside of the floorboard. Angie's blood? Yep. Blood that spattered there when the culprit struck Angie with the board. But that's not the only evidence that she was hit with that floorboard. There's also the blood stain under the floor to consider. For that, the floorboard oh, must not have been in place at the time of the attack. Is there a way? No. I, I screwed that up. Damn it. Good point. Had the floorboard been in place, her blood wouldn't have splattered beneath it. Keo's earlier confession is further evidence that the floorboard was used. How? If the weapon used to hit Angie is the floorboard from the seesaw trick. It means the culprit knew about the seesaw. So the same person killed Tenko and Angie. Huh. Uh. I believe that while Keel was setting up the seesaw, he was holding the board when Angie walked in. And he cold cocked her with the floorboard. All you can do now is accept it. You even confessed to Tenko's murder already. Well, it's true. This is the truth. Looks like we're almost at the end. All right, Shuichi. I'll leave the finale to you. Bring down the house. Shuichi, please put an end to this. I cannot wait to see your arc, girlfriend. For Angie and Tanko's sake. End this class trial. I understand. I'll go over everything one more time. Keo, I want you to confess. No, I will force you to confess. And in the next episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony, we will get that confession from Keo and do the after trial shenanigans. Thank you guys so much. Let me see if I can save it. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.